David Hinkle, Associate Editor with Joystick here, and I'm going to take you guys through a little tour of the Xbox 360 Fall 2012 dashboard update. It's coming sometime this year. I know we don't have much time left this year, but Microsoft hasn't said exactly when yet we're supposed to get this, and I've been in the beta for a couple weeks now, so I've gotten a lot of time to really get used to it, and basically I found out not much has changed. Uh, although some elements take a little bit longer to load, it seems to be more of aesthetic stuff, and... Uh, uh, more of just delivering content to the gamers. One of the things that gamers were a bit upset about, the TV and movie stuff was moved ahead of the games, but now as you can see in the top bar there, uh, that's not the case. So we have a little bit more of a busy screen. I also have a DVD in my Xbox because apparently I'm living in 1998. But uh, yeah, you can see a little forward until dawn action there. The My Pins thing I'm going to get to in a second, but that's actually a new feature. One of the big two, aside from Internet Explorer, that comes with this new uh, dashboard update. So uh, you still got your Bing over on the left. You've got uh, you know your social games, TV and movies, music app sections. The games now though are ahead of TV and movies. You can see you know a bunch of panels here. There's a little bit of an advertisement and over on the right. I've got a couple games that my Xbox is recommending to me based on other games that I've downloaded. So you can see the TV and movies area here. Quick links to get to your video apps and other things that are being promoted at the time. Music, there you go, same, same essential thing. And then uh, the app section as well. It's, uh, it's not much really, not much has changed. It's just uh, essentially a way for Microsoft to kind of get more stuff in front of you with each screen, kind of maximizing the screen space. So uh, my pins are pretty cool. It's like anything, a game or, you know, a web page in Internet Explorer, anything like that that you think you'll, you'll want to go to a lot or say might be down pretty far on your... Uh, pretty far down on your games list, like Texas Hold'em for me, very old game, but I like to play the occasional, you know, hand of Texas Hold'em, but it's way down low, so I can just pin it, put it in my front section. I may not play it all the time, may not be in my recent games, but it's a quick way to jump in there and get it. It's, it's a nifty little feature, so I'm going to go out and back out and uh, show you guys Internet Explorer, which is the other big addition. Finally, you can browse the web on your Xbox inside of an Internet Explorer window it's um you know it's 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 not the best <laughs> but uh, i i think the ps3 browser is definitely a, a a lot stronger but you know if if you're if you only have an xbox or if you're just a really like internet explorer for some reason then uh, there's there's some stuff to get jazzed about here you can see the favorite section for me it's i only really use it for pandora and joysticking and then uh, there's a feature section of things that microsoft thinks will be of interest but here's joystick so you, you can actually load joystick and i know we're having ourselves a bit of an exhibit moment here but you can actually you know, watch our videos, you can uh, uh, pretty much read everything, it's, it's you know, you can zoom in and out with the triggers, it's it's pretty much joystick on your Xbox, which is, um, you know, pretty pretty nifty. I, I like it. I like being able to jump right into joystick and read, and, and here's a big thing too, is we were wondering about videos, because, you know, Flash and all, but uh, basically all of our videos, our Viddler videos, every, you know, I, ch I haven't checked every single one. We have a lot of videos, you guys, but uh, the few I did check worked out fine. You have a, a couple different options when it comes to uh, viewing content on your Xbox here. You, I mean, this is the basic, as you can see, there's, this is, you know, stock, what the stock settings are. At the bottom, you can see there's kind of like a white border area where as you scroll down, it starts to populate above that. But there are some options you can go into to change these things, to change not only the formatting, but uh, also uh, another interesting setting that will only load the mobile versions of pages. So if, if you're somebody who, say, uses Reddit a lot, or you're not big into, you know, fancy graphics. You can just basically click that and then reload any page and it'll automatically default you to the mobile version. So you can bookmark things and uh, again here's the Internet Explorer Hub. Um, it's not really a feature rich browser on the Xbox 360. It's, um, you know, Microsoft's way late to the console browsing game, but it's serviceable. I mean, any anything that you'd really want to do, watch YouTube videos if you don't want to use your YouTube app for some reason, or uh, go to your you know favorite web pages like Joystick.com, you can essentially do that here in Internet Explorer. So that's been the Xbox 360 Fall 2012 dashboard update. I'm David Hinkle from Joystick. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, you know, pin this to your 
home screen. Yeah, yeah, that'll work.